Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Nigerians have been reacting massively since Baba Jesha did this to Mama Rimbo. At first, at the beginning of Baba Jesha's case, a lot of test fans refrained from making any comment about that case. But then, as Baba Jesha's release from the police custody was set in, then many test fans started coming out and making comments about the situation. And this included this highly revered Yoruba Nigerian veteran. Mama Rainbow, whose real name is Idou Phillips. And just some hours ago, Baba Jesha took to his own official social media platform to praise this veteran Yuba actress, even though it is not her birthday. But then he took out his time to specially appreciate her. And he made a short clip where he was sharing praises on Mama Rainbow and thanking her for all her efforts in the movie industry. And he tagged the video Ya Rainbow Mami looking like under 20 at 80s. Alash Yori, life begins at 40. Mamatobaski, perfect for all rule, always pleasant, loving, kind, and generous. Mother of all successful children in the industry, Yaoluri, Alalu Barika, help me to celebrate this epitome of beauty. While some people stormed the comment section to shout praises on Mama Rimba as well and also pray for her, some other Nigerians on popular blogging sites as reacted to this short clip in a negative way. Well, these are some of the reactions. The people are practically cursing out the Yoruba veteran comic actor, Baba Jesha, while others are also joining in to drag Mama Rimbo into this mess. And others are asking, is this good for Mama Rimbo's name and image? And all this reaction is tied to the ongoing case of Baba Jesha. This was all after Mama Rimbo in an interview claimed that Tibet Princess ran out of court settlement of the sexual assault case against Baba Jesha, but the comedian princess refused, despite calling her consecutively for four days. Yarimbo also stated that despite everything, Baba Jesha has now been released on bill. Princess, however, took to her official social media platform to react to this interview. In a over 15 minutes long video, Princess alleged that Mama Rimbo called her just once and took a house address but never visited her as she had promised. Princess also pulled out her annoyance at Veteran Yuba actress who said she was not a good mother. In her words, it is no longer news that my family and I have been going through hell. Everybody has their destiny pre-written. But I'm doing this video because I just saw an interview. Mama Rimbo, I'm ashamed of you. You're not a good mother. I regret ever respecting you. I regret ever seeing you as a mother or a grandmother. You said that you called me for four days and I did not answer you. Now they have released him. In case you do not know, you only called me once. You called me when Baba Jesha was in police custody and told me to go and release him. You were instructing me and I never disrespected you. I even took my time to ask why you called me. And you explained that Ijesha called you that evening to intercede on his behalf, saying he has offended me, his benefactor. I asked you if he told you what he did. I said he did not. But for him to have called you to intervene means that he knows that you can speak with me to call the issue. Even when you called me and asked if I knew who was speaking, I told you that I did and you were shocked that I have your number. I have your number because you're a mother to us all. I told you what he did and when you heard it, you were shaking on the phone because you did not know. You asked me to send my home address to you. Three days later, he told me that you noticed my man was not okay and I was crying. You asked him to send my address because he did not know what he did. I sent you the address, but you never came. He did not come because he did not concern you. And I'm not your child. You have your children. When your child's Instagram page had issues, you stuck your neck out. It was just not, It was just an Instagram page. You know how to take care of your child, but because I'm another person's child... You called me and told me to go and release someone who is in police custody for a crime. I was not angry, but sad that day. And I was crying while explaining to you. But you were pretending to me, Mama Rainbow. You were pretending to me as if you were a concerned mother. Have you come to my house since then? Have you called me since then to sympathize with me? You never did. I kept quiet because I believed that justice would be served. And anything he did will come to light. I'm going through a lot of pain. I do not wish it on my enemy. I'm not silent because of you, Mama Rainbow. Well, that was Princess' reaction, which also drew some backlash. And some people also supported that. Ever since the beginning of this case, it has caused major division, not just among the Yoruba Tespians, but also among the fans. The Lagos State Government advised the State Police Command to charge the actor, Alain Wadu James, in May also known as Baba Jesha, to court over the sexual abuse allegation against him. This advice was given by the Directorate of Public Prosecutions, which revealed that 
Baba Jesha may be sentenced to life imprisonment if he's found guilty in court. This was disclosed in the statement and it was signed by the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Lagos, Honorable Muyo Nibanju. The statement read, It should be recalled that the Nigerian police first arrested Mr. Olarwaju James, also referred to as Baba Jesha on account of various sexual abuse allegations. On the 30th of April 2021, the police ordered the case of COP versus Olai Waju James to the Directorate of Public Prosecutions, DPP, for legal advice. After due consideration of the facts in the case file, the Directorate of Public Prosecutions issued legal advice on the 4th of May 2021, which is the effect that a prima facie case has been disclosed against Mr. Olai Waju James and recommended that he be charged under the following provisions of the Criminal Law, law of Lagos State 2015. Section 135, indecent treatment of a child punishable by seven years imprisonment. Section 137, defamment of a child punishable by life imprisonment. Section 261, sexual assault by penetration, punishable by life imprisonment. Section 262, attempted sexual assault by penetration, punishable by 14 years imprisonment. In section 263, sexual assault punishable by three years imprisonment. Whilst the state would ensure that Mr. Lawanji James writes as enshrined in the country, was the state would ensure that Mr. Alawaju James' rights as enshrined in the Constitution or upheld, the Ministry of Justice will not relent in its effort in ensuring that whoever sexually abuses any resident of Lagos State is speedily brought to book. It is instructive to know that the Lagos State Ministry of Justice has been consistent in its effort in protecting the vulnerable in our society. And since the establishment of the Domestic and Sexual Violence Response Team 2014, it has still this prosecuted over 800 cases of sexual and domestic offences. The Attorney General Hebai assures the Goshens and indeed Nigerians that in accordance with the DPP's advice, charges will be filed accordingly. Yes, Baba Jesha was arrested by the Lagos Police Command after he was seen in a CCTV footage sexually assaulting a 14 years old minor, whom he also was accused of assaulting when she was only 7 years old. At the last court hearing on July 26th, Princess testified alongside her 14 year old daughter. And the CCTV footage was also collected as evidence, video evidence. Princess also claimed that she did not set her daughter up for molestation for the second time this year. And the case was adjourned. And currently, Baba Jesha also resumed acting amidst this trial. So this is the background of the case. We have come to the end of this episode where Nigerians react as Baba Jesha, Princess Mama Rimbo. We'll bring you updates on Babajish's case. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.